All Either way. way. Well, so. thanks so much, Heidi. Well, thank you, thank you. Yeah, we love that decoration. And Mother Nature is going to be providing some more decorations for us in that. Like we saw last week, we got that healthy dose of snow. Another storm on the way. It's not going to be as big of a snow producer, but it'll definitely will put a few more inches up the mountain, says from the National Weather Service. We have a winter weather advisory that will be in place mainly for this afternoon through tomorrow evening. Yeah, cold front will be pushing through. It really doesn't get here until tonight. Now we are seeing a few light showers over the mountains right now. That'll quickly move on. We really don't get things going until tonight, but here's what we're looking at over the next 48 hours. So I'm looking at a range between five to 10 inches for most of the mountain locations. So again, not as big of a snow producer from uh, the Thursday night to Friday morning storm. And of course the storm that hit at the beginning of the week, but this is nice though. We need it for our snow pack putting some fresh powder. Boy, I got a chance to go do some skiing on Friday. The snow is good and we continue to add on. Now, as I mentioned, Southern Utah, we have kind of a mixture of some sun and some clouds, but we'll be looking at mostly cloudy skies here across most of Northern Utah. As we're seeing from radar, yeah, maybe a few sprinkles here this morning, particularly as we look in Utah County. But again, this is not the storm that we're really focusing on. This is kind of a little push of some air and some moisture ahead of the front where it's lagging behind. But the timing of this front, let's go through it. Whereas we take a look at the computer models. We move through the day. We see our front lining up again. It's tonight. You see by 6 p.m. It's moving through Box Elder County over towards Wendover, pushing into the Wasatch Front overnight. This means we will see snow in the mountains and snow sticking to the roads for the canyons. So canyon travel for your Monday morning commute could be concerned. Could be a concern also as we look at some of the bench areas where we might, might see some slushy roads and definitely across extreme northern Utah, we'll see snow falling and accumulating. Don't expect to see much in accumulation for the valley floors as tomorrow with temperatures, we kind of get them a mixture of rain and snow. So it stays wet uh, really there throughout Monday, but then Monday night through Tuesday, central Utah getting hit as the front stalls out. So we definitely can see some snow accumulation, which we'll update you tonight as what we're expecting for Monday into Tuesday morning there across central Utah before this front finally makes a push across southern Utah Tuesday into Wednesday. So this is a slow moving storm. It will bring some colder air, but will delay the cold air and towards the middle of the week. Today, though, highs warmer ahead of the front where we even see 50s through central Utah. Partly cloudy skies across the south, mostly cloudy conditions for northern Utah. You've got 60s today in St. George, 50s tomorrow. Then you get hit with the rain, uh, rain Tuesday afternoon through early Wednesday morning. Could see a mixture of rain and snow early Wednesday morning, but no snow accumulations, but colder temperatures by the end of the week. Northern Utah, low 40s even to tomorrow. That's why we're saying kind of a mixture of rain and snow tomorrow with temperatures still in the 40s. Then it gets colder. A Tuesday, not so bad, but then Wednesday into Thursday, we go from 40s to Thursday, uh, 30s. We do have a weak storm hitting Friday through Saturday, bringing some scattered snow showers. Not a big storm, but again, it keeps the air mix out, keeps snow coming into play. And again, the storm coming in where most of the snow accumulating will be falling here for the mountains, but we'll see snowflakes here across the valley floors. Just kind of a wet snow. A lot for a little bit extra time for yeah. the morning commute tomorrow. If you're traveling through the canyons, you got to be careful. Yes, and make sure those windshield wipers are good. I had to get a reminder of that this last week when it just wasn't quite clearing things off. Me too. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks so much, Breck. Huh?